So you guys are my de demo girls? They are. Amazing. All right, play? cool. So, hey, uh, well, we'll just stay here in the shade because it's probably easier, but if you guys face me. Are you going to play too? Sure. Okay, sure. you're in. All right. So I'm going to observe. So a, a big thing that we look for, especially, is the idea of toes forward, the idea that I want my feet going this way. The idea of duck footed is kind of a problem, and this was something that I kind of observed playing as an NFL player. I would always look at people's feet, and I could always tell a lot by feet, and more importantly, I could tell by position. I always knew that, uh, that people that were slightly pigeon-toed and bow-legged were much more explosive than people that were duck-footed and knock kneed And why is that? Internal hip torque. That actually, this position where I'm here and when I drive my knee out, I create torque and those guys were faster and more explosive. Kind of weird, huh? So I would come up and I would look at guys' feet and I knew if a guy had his toes out like this, he was going to be weak in his glutes, opposed from the guy that wasn't. So there you go, you fixed it. And that's kind of a bad movement that's a, pattern. That's a hard habit to overcome. If yeah, because why? Because everything we do, right? People teach you to squat this way. But why, why is this a problem? And I'll show you. So what I want you to do, and, and actually here you come out, here you face this way, face, face these guys. So if I were to tell you get in a, a good athletic position, what would it look like? All right, good. Hand, hands off the knees. Right, so good athletic position. All right, so what do we have? Chest over the knees, butt behind them. He's loading his hamstrings. And if you were in this position, you played football. You played linebacker, right? Right, so if you're in a good, so good linebacker position, correct? Right. right, so, okay. Right, so you're gonna take off on offensive guard coming right at you, that's the position you're gonna be in. So this is what's known as a universal athletic position because this is what every athlete starts in. It's crazy, right? But the thing that we know is that the knees track over the insteps. So we can draw a plumb line down here. Now what we tend to get people to do is get their toes this way. And the reason being is, there you go, even a little bit farther, just right there, perfect, good. And what he's doing a great job is he's really driving his knees out hard because he knows that it makes his hips nice and tight and he fires his glutes. So what I want you to do is I want you to hold this position and I'm gonna try to pull you this way. So I want you to hold and not let me pull you out. Okay, hands up this way, good. All right, hold, oh, nice, okay, good. So if I'm applying force, now I want you to stand back up, I want you to turn your toes out, good. More, a little bit more, a little duck foot, get down in a universal athletic position and I want you to protect again. All right, ready? <laughs> Try it again. Don't let me pull you around. Okay. So now all I want you to do is move your heels back this way. Good. Lock it in. Good. Hold. Wow. So why is it that one way with your toes forward, you are stable, strong, and I can't drop, pull your knee out, but yet when your toes go out all instantly, you might have a problem. Yeah, here. you torque because you can use your glutes. If you stand up and you put your toes forward, I want you to squeeze your butt and I want you to feel the top of your glutes. Now I want you to turn your toes all the way out and I want you to try to do it. You feel the difference? <laughs> yeah. So like, you wonder why certain people are more explosive. So for me, when I got down in my stance and I was here, I would effectively turn this way, which I could get my glute into, which I was stronger and more explosive so I could come off and hit people. When I watched a guy turn his foot this way, I knew he was a catcher's man. And so the guys would sit back and they were always weak here opposed from here. And so just that little bit, and now why is this use useful for you? Anything. anything. But the biggest thing is running. So, what are the, so every sport involves change of direction. So if I'm gonna sprint and run, and I'm gonna put my foot here in the ground to come back this way, when you watch guys change direction, if they come here and they put their foot here, momentum and inertia takes them this way and they go hop, hop, or they hurt themselves. Opposed from guys that come here, put their foot in the ground, and then they can push back off. You watch guys like an RG3 put their foot here, knee wobbles, he tears his ACL. Opposed from a guy who puts his foot here and can turn back. Watch the Marshawn Lynches and the other athletes, the guys that can change direction on a dime. Their foot is always vertical. Knee on the instep, and in this position, opposed from here. So what do we do though? We teach people to squat, we teach them to pull, we teach them to swing, we teach them to do every form of hinge with their toes out. So what we're effectively doing is reinforcing a negative movement pattern over and over and over and over and over, and we become what? What we do, we become our habits. Mm -hmm. You know, and nobody ever rises to the occasion, people follow the level of their training, which mm -hmm. I got from the Navy SEALs. So where did that come from? Like, was that Glassman who started that? Where did that come from? No, the uh, toes out, squat position, toes uh, out, everything position. No fucking idea. Interesting. Because you know what it is? People have really shitty flexibility. So if you turn your toes out, it opens your hips. Range of motion, and right. it allows you to squat well. Now, can you get fit squatting with your toes out? Yeah. yeah. 
You're talking about fitness. Right. Now we're talking about athletic performance and your ability to use your body on the field to right. perform against another individual. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. So if we're talking about fitness, we can get fit doing anything. Mm -hmm. Just do a little bit more increased work capacity, broad time, modal domains, mm -hmm. you know? But now we're talking about teaching you a set of movement patterns that allow you to be a better athlete. 